<laughs> this is my friend Rokul. Yeah. And him and his friends followed us. Yeah, yeah. When they got out of school, yeah. and he is he is very smart. He knows two languages, yeah. and he walks 40 minutes to school every day, yeah. and then walks 40 minutes home. Yeah. But when he gets to the 40th minute, the children here, all by themselves, notice there's no adult supervision. I almost just fell down the embankment myself. They pull the boat from the other side of the river bank, and all the children get on the little barge here. Yeah. And then they pull their way to the other side and then they have to walk to their homes which is in those foothills over there. It was very nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. And I said when you ever come to America, you you can you can you can find me, okay? From next month. You go on your boat. I will take your picture. <laughs> Most of these children. Bye! Bye, my friend! Bye. Nice to meet you! Thank you for walking with me! The young children are so independent here. There is nowhere you could go in America and have children do this. Here. What'd you say? No, no, no. There is no. So, anyways, they, they pull their way to the embankment and they walk through the fields and their parents homes are on the other side there's the peace pagoda at the top of the mountain over there amy and i walked that it was about a little bit over a two hour trek up a little strenuous going up of course much easier going down amy's over there and we're going over to the bazaar village we've been walking for about an hour and a half so far through the different countrysides i go back to america in one week Yes. Bye, my friend. Bye. Goodbye. Yeah, what's your name? Namaste. Thank you. Namaste. <coughs> so this is the countryside of Pokhara. <laughs> Pretty cool. Bye. Very interesting young man for 12 years old. What a life these children have. Very, very independent children. And I'm just so surprised at how nice and clean their uniforms are. They're all very respectful, very kind. And pretty much wherever we go, the children always go out of their way to come up to us and say, Namaste, how are you, what's your name? and just make some general conversation. A lot of times they ask for candy. They like U.S. candy. Paragliding up in the sky. Okay, we'll tune you in at the bazaar.